Hi everyone, it's Carolyn here again to share another channeled message from the Light Keepers, a group of angelic beings I channel on a regular basis. So I'm a channel, a distance energy healer, and a spiritual awakening mentor. And what I do in these videos is I share from the Light Keepers, a group of angelic beings I channel, all of these neat channels they bring through to me so that they can support you on your awakening journey. So you can visit my channel, Carolyn Zeiser, if you're new to it. Welcome. I appreciate you joining me today. And you can like, share, and subscribe. And also get a free video on flow that I'm offering down in the description box. And you'll be able to get six tips on how to create flow in your body for health and wellness during this important time in your journey. So thanks for everybody who always joins me. And today's video is on something that if we don't consciously recognize and deal with literally holds us back from the ascension. It's a heavy, heavy burden on humankind. And with that, I'm going to leave you there on that. And I'm going to make a number of comments at the end, which I always do, offering you my um, thoughts and some of my experiences at times. So today I have three short channels. Again, I've been doing this a lot lately, trying to combine some of the shorter ones so, so that you get a bit more content in each themed channel. So these are three separate ones that I'm going to read, and it's on forgiveness. Stick with me on this because it's really important. For you, dear one, to free yourself, forgive. To live life, forgive. To move forward, forgive. For if you do not, you shall always be stuck in the past, and this is not the journey you came for. It may be a lesson, but it is not the journey. Do not let this be the end of your story. So I'm going to comment on each one of these as we move forward. The thing is, what I have been told is that forgiveness is one of the hardest things that humans do or learn to do and oftentimes never learn to do because we can harbor so much ill will toward people who, in our view, have done us wrong. And of course, we do the same to them, right? So point is, is this is about unleashing ourselves from that prison that we've honestly created. Now, the action that that person did, that doesn't mean by forgiving, you are saying, oh, it's okay that you did X, Y, or Z to me. That was perfectly fine. No, that's not it. The forgiveness is letting it go within your body and your cells, releasing yourself from that burden that that other person by their actions has placed on you and held you back because that's exactly what happens. And it's super heavy in our life, super heavy. And honestly, you do have to be ready for this forgiveness. Frankly, for me, you can't just go sit down and take all the things that you have held really deeply and then even the little things, but the big ones, and stuffed away and never dealt with and processed and then let go so that you can move forward. There is a process of moving through that and being ready for it. But the point in part of this video and the reason that I was really encouraged to post this is because being aware of just those things we've stuffed down is the first step, all right? Don't just put it away and stuff it away because it stays with us. We need to, as we go through the awakening, start looking at past hurts, all right? You don't want to live in that space, but believe me, they're going to come up, all right? And when they come up on their own, all right, what you can do is start working through that. Don't stuff it away because the awakening is all about bringing these things to the surface. So the more we deal with these hurts on our own as we move through life, the less we're going to have to deal with in the difficulties of the awakening. So you're going to learn how to do this because as we go through humankind's journey of life, we still run into these situations. It's not all about the past, all right? We still encounter humans <laughs> that in some way or another may have hurt us, all right? So we need to learn how to forgive and what that means. And so many of us think that forgiving means we give them a free pass. That's not it. It's about you. What do you want to do for yourself? Let it go. It was in the past. What did you learn from it? All right. Possibly you learned something from it. Now let it go. You're going to move forward in your journey. Don't let that heavy energy hold you back. Don't worry about that. It was 
And yeah, some of these situations are super traumatic in our lives, super traumatic. And you may be looking at me cross-eyed going, I can't forgive that, are you kidding me? It's not about saying it's okay for that person to have done that. It's about releasing within you that heavy energy of that action holding you back. And just know you're better than that and you can move forward. And it's about what you create out of that moving forward. So next one I'm going to share obviously is also about forgiveness. Cue this day to lift the cloak of all the years of not forgiving and delve deeply into the heart of them. Like one picks flowers, pick one, breathe in its sweet smell, and then release it to the wind. For you will be the one who is perfumed. True, totally true, all right? So, you know, picking that one thing that you have held deeply within yourself, the sometimes hatred, the unforgiveness, the letting go of that, you're the one that benefits. So we've got to look at this differently, the things that have been done to us differently, because forgiveness is the most difficult thing that humans do, all right? And understandably so, but the thing is, it releases us to move forward in our life. And the other thing I want to mention is this isn't just about other people having done us wrong. We do ourselves wrong. We are our own toughest critics, and oftentimes, we harbor so much ill will toward ourselves, we need to start forgiving ourselves as well. And that's probably, for me, the most difficult thing. I find that I have um, little difficulty forgiving people. I just don't think about those things. Things happen and I move on. Now, I'm really hard on myself, okay? I've got a couple things I'm still working on that if I sit and consider it, I get really pained, which means I also haven't fully dealt with it, right? But when you do this and you start thinking of the things that you're not forgiving yourself for or things you feel you've done to someone else and you're harboring that in yourself, let yourself think about it, okay? You've got to let yourself think about it, all right? And feel it and know it and then unleash it from you. Unleash it from you. Now, there's all, I could go on and on about this part of not forgiving yourself. And many times what we want to be able to do is talk to that other person. And honestly, years and years and years may have gone by of not being able to have ever talked to that person that you feel you have deeply hurt. Lots of times that's in close relationships. And then we part ways and we realize later on, what did I do? I cannot forgive myself. Well, you can, first of all, and it's a process. But I'm here to tell you, if you have the opportunity during this time of your life and you feel that it's something you want to do, reach out to that person. Reach out to that person and just do it. Tell them you're sorry. Tell them you, tell them your true heart. This is the time to do that. And you will release yourself from that prison that you have created by not forgiving yourself. Forget whether they forgive you. They may look at you cross-eyed and say, eh, but look what you just did. You offered forgiveness, all right? You offered that. And in doing so, you have identified that within yourself. So that's super powerful if you can, um, if you run into a situation like that, that you have harbored deeply inside yourself about yourself. All right, let's move on to the third one. Releasing love and compassion for those who have wronged you is the freedom from the prison you offer yourself. The prison is of your own making. To free yourself, forgive. To live life, forgive. To move forward, forgive. For if you do not, you shall always be stuck in the past. And this is not the journey you came for. It may be a lesson, but it is not the journey. Do not let this be the end of your story. Release and let go, for you are the one who is freed. So that's a longer take on the shorter one that I did, because they actually came through with two, <laughs> which is kind of interesting sometimes that they do that. But again, here we have this whole idea of not getting stuck in the past. Because as we know, moving forward in this ascension journey, this awakening journey, it's about working to live in the now moment. And when we're focused on past hurts, past wrongs, and we haven't released those, either as I said, with what others have done to us or what we feel we've done to others, then we're just held there. It's an extremely heavy, 
heavy energy. And I would ask you that if in fact you're feeling this, this heavy energy, and you're starting to identify some of these things, start working through these. They're going to be painful because they bring up the past. And, you know, we so often, we don't really want to keep focused on the past, but in the ascension, in the awakening, we are clearing things from the past, all right? We want to be living in that now moment and being able to continue to create and move forward. So this releases us from many of these heavy energies that we have harbored within ourselves. So today, I hope you have enjoyed this video about forgiveness. And, you know, on the surface, it may seem tremendously simple. It is not. It is one of the most important things that we can do in humankind. And finding our way through that journey of forgiveness can be one of the toughest ones we'll take, but one of the most freeing that you can imagine. So with that, I'm gonna leave you today and I would have you check out my purplerainhealing.com website if you're interested in looking further into my services of distance energy healing, channeling, and spiritual awakening mentoring, where I work one-on-one -on -one with you as I channel information for you as you move forward in your awakening journey. I would absolutely love to work with you. And with that, I thank you again for joining me and I will see you in the next video.